Hello everyone, welcome back to AI Labs. I know many of you have been using ChatGPT for writing and coding assistance, and you're going to love this new update. It's designed to make your workflow even faster. Introducing Canvas, a powerful new update now available to pay ChatGPT users on the Teams and Plus plans. All right, let's dive right in. I'll walk you through how to access Canvas and start using its features. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. All right, here I'm using the Plus plan, so you'll notice at the top left corner, there's an option to switch models from a drop-down menu. In this drop-down, you'll see the GPT-4 model with Canvas. We're going to be selecting this, and we'll see what new in this update. Once we have it selected, let's give it a straightforward task. We'll ask it to create a Python file for converting text or a document into audio. We'll type in our prompt, and you'll notice the new layout here. The code it generates appears on the right, while the chat interface stays on the left. As you can see, it generated a beautifully formatted code block right here, offering a clean, visually engaging way to edit code or write articles. This new format makes it easier than ever to create and adjust content with clarity and style. It even provides instructions on how to run the file and any dependencies needed, making it simple to edit the code if necessary. We also have more settings we can adjust here, but before diving into those, let's go back to the main ChatGPT page and check out some additional features it offers. All right, so this is the website where they've given us more details about the new feature they just introduced. And as we scroll down, you can see they've also added some new shortcuts specifically for writers. So like I mentioned earlier, if you're a writer who uses ChatGPT for different purposes, this is definitely gonna be helpful. Now, the first thing that ChatGPT does to assist you is it lets you edit or write directly in the provided window. You know, before, if you wanted to tweak something that ChatGPT had generated, you would have given it a new prompt and a whole new response would have been generated but now you can just make those changes right there, which makes it much easier to work with. Also, you can adjust the length or change the reading level of the text, which is a pretty interesting feature. I'll show you how that works in the demo. You can even add a finishing touch to polish your document, resolving grammar issues and making final edits with ease. Plus, there's an option to add emojis to your text if you want to. All right, now let's dive into coding in Canvas and explore the features it brings to the table. First up, it can review your code. Just like I mentioned before with writing, you can now do the same with code. Previously, if you wanted to make adjustments to your code, you'd give it a prompt and it would generate a new response from scratch, which wasn't always the smoothest workflow or the best editing experience. But now Canvas changes that by giving you the changes you want right there in the editor. And Canvas also provides features like detailed logs to help you understand your code visually, inserting helpful comments, and fixing bugs along the way. And there's a fun new feature. Canvas can even change the language of your code while keeping the same functionality, making it super versatile. Below, you'll see some charts and benchmarks showing just how much more efficient Canvas is compared to previous options. All right, let's jump into the demo and see it in action. All right. Let's test out the coding experience in Canvas by giving it a challenge. We'll start by asking it to create a Mario-style game in Python using Pygame. Let's see how it handles this. Great, it's generating the code for the game. So to test it out, I'll paste it into my code editor. I'll be using VS Code, and we'll see exactly what it created. All right, I'll quickly set up a few things, and then I'll run the file to see how it looks. Let's run the code and see how it looks. As you can see, we ran the game, but it's not functioning as expected. So I'll head back into Canvas to start troubleshooting and make some improvements. All right, so I had to guide Canvas a bit with some prompts to fix the functionality and steer it in the right direction. Now here's the finished Mario-inspired game. What I want you to take away from this is how easy it was to refine the code along the way. This was because of the new interface of Canvas, which allowed me to edit the code in a collaborative effort and fix the game. Now that the game looks great, 
Let's dive into the other features Canvas offers. All right, now let's go over the features that Canvas brings to the table. First up, we have Canvas's ability to automatically add comments to help explain the code more clearly. Let's test it out and see how well it does. Now, if you had any confusion about specific lines in the code before, you might have asked ChatGPT to explain them, and it would give you a separate answer along with new code. But here with Canvas, it automatically adds comments directly in the code, so everything is explained right where you need it, no hassle. Next, let's test out the Add Logs feature. This feature adds print statements throughout the code, allowing you to track what's happening as it runs. If any error pops up, it'll catch it right at that specific point. This is called error logging, and it's super helpful for debugging. Here, let me show you an example. This is how Canvas logs the process. It adds print statements throughout the code like this, making it much easier to track the flow and debug any issues that come up. The review and fix bugs feature works like usual, but it's right in the editor for convenience. Now let's check out the port to language feature. Here you can see all the language options available for conversion. We'll select C++ and port our code into that language. All right, it created a separate file for the C++ code, and here you can see the converted code taking shape. It's using SFML graphics here, which will help run the game, and it looks like the code has been successfully converted. Now let me show you a feature related to version control. I'll go back to the previous Python file we had open, and I'll demonstrate it there. If you look at the arrows at the top right, you'll see that they allow us to navigate back and forth between different code versions generated by ChatGPT. It's a really handy feature in case something goes wrong with a previous version, giving you quick access to earlier iterations. These buttons allow you to restore the current version or go back to a previous one with ease. I've shown you how Canvas helps with coding, but now let's explore the new features it offers for writing. I'll ask it to write an article about climate change. And again, it showcases the new interface, which really enhances your writing experience. Your edits will be right there, making the process seamless. I'll ask it to add more headings for better readability, so we can really see what it can do. All right, let's first test out the features it offers, which you can see right here. The Suggest Edits feature reads your passage and edits it for you, so let's give that a try. So it's reading through the passage and highlighting suggestions for improvements, guiding me on what to work on. Okay, so this is the suggestion that it made, and I'm going to read it, and if I agree with it, then I am going to click on Apply. And according to the proposed changes, it will update the text accordingly. All right, we've seen the suggested edit feature. Now let's move on to the next one, which allows us to adjust the reading level for different grade levels. You can see the different grade levels that ChatGPT allows us to adjust the text to. For example, let's change it to graduate level. It's now using more sophisticated and complex vocabulary, and the paragraphs are longer, effectively changing the text to a graduate level. Now that we've seen it make the text more complex, let's check how it simplifies it. We'll choose the middle school grade level and see how it handles that. It simplified the language and also provided headings for the questions, 
presenting them in a very straightforward manner. All right, let's test out what I think is the coolest feature, adding emojis to your text right in the editor. Would you look at that? It added quite a few emojis, maybe a bit too many, but it definitely makes the text more engaging. Now I think it's time to finalize the document. Let's add the finishing touches using the polishing feature that Canvas offers. It looks like it changed the format by giving the title the proper font. It also reviewed the passage, making edits to ensure smooth flow and filling in any missing elements. Okay, so this video demonstrated how Canvas, with its new interface, can help you enhance your coding and writing tasks, making your workflow more efficient. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.